Guys, it's June 20, 2013. This was posted today in Activist Post, and I will link below to the article. The CDC is lying to you again. Flu reality versus flu fiction. I now have the official CDC flu death um, statistics for the year 2010. They were provided to me by Martin Maloney, who some years ago contacted me to show how the CDC was lying all the way along the line about numbers of flu deaths. Many thanks, Martin, for your good work. 2010 is apparently the most recent year for which the CDC has issued a final report. Interesting. 2010. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. But they don't issue these reports because they don't want... Well, frankly, there's so many agencies that are just not issuing reports anymore. Anyway, it was released on May 13 of this year. The report comes through a sub-agency of the CDC, the National Vital Statistics System. On page 89 of the report, deaths, final data for 2010 in Table 10, we find the following. Influenza and pneumonia deaths, 50,000 um, 50,097 influenza deaths, 500 pneumonia deaths, 49,597. In 2010, the CDC reports 500 deaths from the flu, but the CDC PR people have trumped over and over that 36,000 people die every year in the U.S. from the flu. They've hyped this number to emphasize how dangerous the flu is, they use the 36,000 number as a way to promote the flu vaccine. They use it to work for their pimps in the pharmaceutical industry. Yet their own numbers show 500 deaths in 2010, not 36,000. Actually, if you dig below the surface of their PR, the CDC states in their literature that annual deaths from the flu range from about 3,000 to 49,000. This is obviously nowhere near the low 500 death figure for 2010. And it isn't only 2010 that's an issue. In a recent article, I laid out how the CDC routinely reports in the fine print far fewer than 3,000 flu deaths in a given year. It gets even worse. When you break down that low figure of flu deaths per year in the U.S., you find that only a small fraction of those have been confirmed as the flu. By confirmed, I mean tested for in order to find a flu virus in the body of a person who has subsequently died. That is essential. So for example, for the year 2001, the CDC in its small print listed 257 flu deaths, but of those, only 18 were confirmed to be the flu. As you can see above, the CDC has a mortality category called pneumonia plus influenza. They initially lump the numbers of deaths together. This gives the superficial impression of many deaths. Then they break it down. How do they justify that combination category? They claim that many pneumonia deaths stem from the flu. They use a computer model to make the calculations. But in conventional medical literature, there are at least 10 different types of pneumonia. Trying to model which one stems from flu cases is a fool's errand. The CDC is lying about flu deaths again. They're trying, as usual, to inflate danger and promote it and sell vaccine. That's their real job. Our job is to protect ourselves and others from the government.